Hey, welcome. Thanks for checking out my Nike Vaporfly Next% Percent 2 shoe review. This first part is a little overview going over all the shoe specs, and the second part will be my in-hand feel and opinion on the shoe itself. If you like this, please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe. Yeah, let's just get into it. The shoe is a highly advanced running shoe designed to provide superior performance and comfort. The Vaporfly line incorporates several cutting-edge technologies to improve runner's speed and reduce fatigue. Key features of the Vaporfly include the Zoomex foam, which is a highly responsive lightweight energy foam, a carbon fiber plate within the midsole designed to provide a spring-like effect, a fly knit upper made of a breathable lightweight fabric that conforms to the shape of your foot, and lastly, a unique traction pattern that provides excellent grip on a wide variety of surfaces. This shoe is perfect for your half marathons or fulls. Even at the $250 price point, if you can find it on sale, it is a steal. Hey, welcome to the video. This is my review on the Nike Next Percent Vapor Flies. As someone who is super skeptical on a super shoe, I think these are actually a pretty good bang for your buck if you can get them on sale. Um, I've ran about 100, 120 miles with these things. Still really, really tough to push in. This is an old one. Right here I have the new one. You can see this one is a lot harder, especially in the toe area, the front edge, while this one is a little easier but still has a huge amount of spring to it. I started with these as a, a little, I wanted to go faster on my marathon, I thought this would help out, and I wanted to get a little bit of experience on this shoe first. So I started with two speed days of five miles plus two mile cooldowns, or a mile before, a mile after, warm up cooldown on both of those run. and. I would definitely recommend trying out the shoe before you just lace it up for a race if you have no experience with a super shoe, as these feel incredibly different. I normally run in uh, New Balance Rebel 2, right here. This was a way different shoe. It made me feel like a baby giraffe almost. Like I just couldn't walk around for like a solid five minutes of just learning how to walk in the shoe. So having those training days, as even I had those two training days, like I said, those two speed days, I did um, a few miles just walking in the shoe just to get good experience in them. And I also did two long days, I think a 13 and a 15 slow, like slow pace, low heart rate for myself. Um, but I think that really helped me get dialed in on these shoes because they are so different. They are super springy that like i said it's a carbon fiber plate in the shoe and the foot pad for these shoes is very like i would say small like it felt like if i didn't put my shoe foot in the shoe perfectly center on the shoe it would move around a lot and this is all just like lacing it's not it's not like a normal shoe where it's really thick and strong these are exactly what they're supposed to be super shoes they're lightweight they're designed to go fast and that's about it um i think i have a pretty good like um run on these shoes like i said i did all that pre-training i did a full marathon and then i went ahead and did another mar half marathon in them um they're 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 really nice you really f i personally really feel a difference but they seem to hold up too. I've ha I know a lot of people in reviews are like they don't hold up very well. That be the case. I've been running strictly on like blacktop and uh, roads, so just straight pavement. And this is the bottom of the shoe. As you can see, there's a bunch of wear here, and then somewhere in there, they're definitely they they definitely get chalked up pretty fast. But like I said, I've been running straight blacktop and pavement, no treadmill, no dirt roads, nothing like that. I don't even like, besides for that walk I did, don't even walk around it. I'm like, I lace them up right before basically. Um, there's a couple like gaps, like very small on the seam. I don't know, you can't see it on that one. 
like very little starting down here, like right where this meets. Just very few, very small. But I noticed also on this shoe, a tear in the, the webbing from my toe, which is kind of an issue. It's not, it's not that, it's not noticeable yet, but it's definitely, it's gonna get bigger with time. Um, yeah, and then this is the other one. As you can see, they're both pretty destroyed, but I don't know, they're still holding up. I know like, I don't know how to get the good squish. They're still pretty firm in that part because here's the new one. I can't even, I can't even squish the new one. But yeah, like you almost couldn't even tell. This one's just a little faded because of how much I've ran in it, but I bought these because they were on sale. Honestly, that is the only time I'd probably recommend one of these. I got them off StockX, which I'm not sponsored, by the way, obviously. You can't see it, it's backward. I'll, I'll put it up, but it's from StockX. I paid 135 and with sales tax and shipping, it came to 164. So I would definitely recommend trying to find these shoes on StockX uh, or just anywhere. I know Dick's Sporting Goods was the first place I got these the first time and they were 150, 160 as well. So honestly, I think anything under 180 for these shoes is not bad. I personally would not pay $250 for this thing. I don't I don't think the hype is there for it. The the laces are very interesting too. They're they're um I don't even know how to describe it. They're not like normal laces whatsoever. They're like, kind of like auto locking laces with that pattern and they're, but they don't tangle. I haven't noticed any tangling normally with my um, New Balance Rebel 2s or the Saucony Triumphs that I have. They tangle a lot. These, I can almost always untie them immediately. They're, they're almost like a braided cable like I showed. The aglet is, Kind of customized if you care about that they look they just look good they they're good running shoes i don't know their their quality this is the bottom of the brand new one in comparison to the old one as you can see it's really faded near the bottom right here and then where your forefoot touches the shoe right there. Um, the tops lost a lot up here. As you can see where you're pushing off, there's a ton of the grip missing, but the main, like all this is still there. Even, even near the back, there's not much, there's not much going on that's different. Um, I would, like I said, I would 100% recommend at least trying these. The the most the the closest shoe that I've worn to this is the Nike or the New Balance Rebel Two, the closest shoe in style and feel that I've worn. That I I think translates really well is that I would not go from like a personally would not go from a Hoka or a Saucony. I I have the Saucony Triumphs I believe. They're very thick and like heavy, and they do not feel like. I would not like to switch from those to these every time. I believe the New Balance Rebel 2 is like a $130 shoe, 110, 120. I know you can find them for like 80, 90 dollars sometimes, which is probably the route I would go with it, but I would I would definitely recommend this as you give it a try if you can find it anywhere from 135 to 180. I would not go any higher with these. They're they're really nice but you're not gonna wear them all the time um unless you're just running races constantly i run like three races a year if i'm if i'm feeling it just because i don't want to spend the money on it but they're definitely they'll definitely make you feel insane that it's really that one's the old one the new one super i mean you could even see that one this one was a little 
easier to push in, but they're still both super hard shoes to push in. Um, really nice. Like I said, StockX has a bunch for sale. I can link that in the description. They have a ton of shoes to go look at and try. I would, I would definitely recommend them. Give them a shot. See what you think. Let me know. Yeah, I think that's about it though. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this, hopefully this helped you a little bit, but that was my experience with the shoes.